1265 Simon de Montfort Parliament by Ross Birrell. The banner really responds to the, directly to the historical moment of 1265 when de Montfort calls what is in effect, I suppose, the, the beginning of the emergence of Parliament uh, as we know it. And I was, I've always been, uh, I've made work in response to, I suppose, the theme of democracy and the notion of democracy being speaking in public place, uh, freedom to speak in public um, as a kind of core defining characteristic of democracy. And parliament simply means partly to speak, you know, to speak and, 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 and to be free to speak. And I'd made work in response to Thomas More and Utopia and the history of utopian ideas and, and so on. So, but I didn't really know anything about Simon de Montfort particularly, so it was a kind of challenge to think of how to respond to that. But then I thought of it in relationship to the themes of the, of the Banner Commission, which was the emergence of Parliament, and something which is emerging is, is you can see it arriving, but it's not yet arrived it fully formed. So it's something that's maybe taking shape in democracy, as maybe we may understand it today, it wasn't the same as it was in the Montfort's time at all, in the 13th century. So um, it's changed and evolved. So I was really looking for something more contemporary as a response to, uh, to uh, something that resonates really more with the question of what does democracy mean today and for the future. So to democracy to come is a quotation from uh, the French philosopher Jacques Derrida, but, and Simon de Montfort being French as well, so there's a, so maybe a kind of parallel there. But it's really a kind of open kind of question to everybody who comes to visit Westminster uh, to what kind of shape does democracy have in the future? Well, but the banner of democracy to come is also written in Caslin font. In Caslin, in the Caslin font was designed in 1722 by William Caslin, and the font is the same font that was used to print the Declaration of Independence in America and the uh, uh, American Constitution. And de Montfort is also uh, on a kind of relief sculpture in uh, Congress in America. So there's the, the kind of impact of those moments, Magna Carta and de Montfort's Parliament, uh, in the spread of democracy. But Caslin was also a gunsmith. So there was a kind of interesting relationship between, in the very form, latent in the design of the banner, it is this relationship between democracy and violence and maybe the two are intertwined as they are in the American Constitution with the right to bear arms and the, one of the levelers also had that kind of sense of the right to bear arms in, in the new model army um, but also that also the violence is the very thing that threatens democracy and the way that we respond to the recent you know events that uh, which challenge the freedom of speech in, uh, in Paris and so on that uh, that will affect and impact the shape of democracy to come as well, how we respond to those events and whether we respond to that with increased democracy and increased liberty or infringements upon liberty and, and how that maybe shapes a different kind of democracy.